a good time. I'm told I think it's going to be several years before it actually falls quite like that again. But uh, what a good day to begin the new year in the house of the Lord, the first day of the week, the first day of the year. What a good day this would be to make some right and good decisions about your relationship to God. If you're not a Christian, what better day than the first day of a new year to trust Christ as your Savior, to publicly profess Christ as your Savior? Uh, if you're a Christian, could there ever be a better day than today uh, to rededicate your life or to uh, rededicate your heart to uh, your marriage, your, your home, as best you can. You, you can do it right where you're sitting. You may need to respond publicly in the invitation, but this, this is a good day. The series is Standing on the Promises. Standing on the Promises. I'm told by good Bible scholars that perhaps there are 7,000 promises in the Bible. I'm not going to give you all of those today. I will not be able to touch on all of those. I may be able to touch on them in groups, but there are a lot of promises in the Bible. And once I began to prepare this series, everywhere I literally turned in the Bible, whatever I was reading, I began to see promises that God had made. The Bible says God cannot lie, but he also makes promises. Matter of fact, he also takes an oath and swears that he will tell the truth and that he will fulfill his word. God's word is...